Hi everyone, it's Anastika here, and today I'm colouring this adorable little nerdy chihuahua. And that's a diggy from Samad Girl. Uh, I'm using my Copic markers, and I'm starting with E11, 13 and 15 for the chihuahua itself. Uh, I am not really looking to making this chihuahua look like a real chihuahua in any way. I'm basically just having fun and I like these E colours so I'm using them. Uh, I'm using this for the whole body and then I'll use another set of E colours for let's say his hair. I don't know if you call it his fur or not but I like to call it his hair. So while I'm colouring the body I'm just using a basic colouring technique, nothing too fancy. Just trying to add a bit of dimension to him and depth here and there. And sorry for going out of focus at time, but my camera was an autofocus and after a bit I'll just put on manual focus so you won't have to go in and out. So you're not that's nothing wrong with your eyes. It's just my camera being well, being my camera. So I'll put on some music and I'll get back to you when I change colours. Uh, here I'm adding a bit of E93 for and uh, 95 just to add a bit of dimension to his ears and nose. But now let's get to his hair. I'm using E93, E97 and E99 for the hair. So I'm still focusing on that same kind of a brownish colour but I just I just want to make sure that his hair or top is a tad bit different so that it stands out a bit more so it doesn't kind of fade into the uh, skin tone so to say because if you're a nerdy chihuahua you kind of have to look a bit snazzy right and i think he looks absolutely adorable such a cute little critter I didn't, I never used to be quite the uh, critter kind of card maker lover, but Christy from Some Odd Girl has kind of made me into a animal stamping lover of kind, <laughs> I guess. And she does create the most adorable little cuties. Now for his uh, jumper, I'm going for bees. Um, the colours that I'm using here are B21, B23 and B24. Just trying to add a bit of dimension to his whole outfit and just keeping it quite cute and adorable as I can.
Now for his glasses, I'm using BG 00 and BG 000. And I'm just adding a little bit of glass effect because later on I'm going to be using Ranger Glossy Accent to make it all really shiny. Now for that cute little bow, I'm using the YRs in 01, 02 and 04. Just adding a bit of colour variation to the outfit. And I quite like how the B markers and the YR markers look together. And also his socks are matching his bow. Because he is a very stylish chihuahua. <laughs> Now for his vest, I'm using the C markers in 3, 4 and 6. And I really like using my C markers or grey markers in general, because even though they are not quite colourful, they do add so much to my images. And I also use the same combination for his shoes. As most of you may know, I quite like subtle colours, so the pages in this book are E triple O and E double O. And I'm keeping it quite light and pastel y, really. I guess I'm staying true to my colour combination. So the book uses the YR 11, 12, and 14. And I just want to make sure that it was kind of a match to the whole outfit, but still not completely not completely to uh, become one with the bow but still making sure that they have the uh, same color combo so I'm not using too many colors really that's about it there you see those shiny glasses so thanks for watching bye